Hey y'all, welcome back to B-Ray Garage. This is a kind of a random, didn't really uh, plan this per se, but I, uh, I picked up this Armor All wash kit, well, Ultimate Car Care is what they call it, but anyway, it was at my local Walmart for, I think on sale for 23, 24, and they had some kind of manager special. This was 15 bucks. Now, I know Armor All's not the big name, probably that it used to be but i remember it from being a kid and my old man always used it and i thought man for 15 bucks there's no way i'm getting these what one two three four five six products even at three dollars a pop that's 18 bucks so um even if it's just the jeep or something i'm working on that maybe i don't need the nicest stuff because i love my chemical guys pack but anyway long story short i thought you know maybe we crack this thing open and kind of take a look at it and then uh, maybe use it a little bit, see what uh, what it comes out like. So I uh, I don't know, I think maybe even at 24, which is I think the online price, that it might be worth it. Uh, that just, man, cleaning products are just getting pretty wild these days. And if it's not your main rig or one you're really concerned about, do you want to be burning your good stuff? I, I don't know. I, uh, I hate to kind of buy two of something, but at the same time, I'm so cheap, man. I hate to use my good stuff. On my older rigs so anyway this is tear here so, you know, this ought to be interesting oh, okay so we're just gonna oh got a little cobweb in there must have been sitting there for a while must be why they were on quote unquote manager special and really i figured you know even car wash pockets are going for five six bucks these days so it's uh even if I just get a decent car wash bucket out of the deal. Well, let's see what we got here. All right. Well, it feels like it's fairly tight. So I'm assuming the 10 thing is gonna count the bucket as well. Let's see what we got here. Um, microfiber, it's pretty good size. Larger than the lid. Man, that's citrusy. It's got a definite citrus vibe to it. Uh, what do we got here? Extreme wheel and tire. Yeah. I'm, Sure, it's real extreme. But anyway, that's cool. Wheel and tire is good. I mean, probably better than the dollar store stuff I buy from my other rigs. Uh, oh, extreme must be a uh, tagline these days, extreme tire shine. So two tire products already. So two of your products, and you might have bought those separately. I don't know. Again, if you're buying the armor all, you're probably not buying for your main rig that you're really worried about. Glass wipes, how many? Okay, 30 wipes, felt pretty light, that's why I say that. I wonder if it feels, yeah, still pretty moist. I was worried about, um, been sitting there a while, long enough had this sweet spider web on it. So, let's see, cleaning wipes, lint-free, cleaning for auto services, delicate surfaces, okay, well, I don't know. This is, you know, I remember this this is what i remember the og like old armor i mean just shined your your eyeballs out when you had this but i guess maybe they've thought about that because now it's medium apparently on this three-way scale so we got uh what else we got in here okay the wash and wax makes sense and a very nondescript sponge so anyway and then package in there so all right well that's cool let's see what we got here so wash and wax, interior protection, probably for dash and whatnot. And then this is just the quick wipes, glass quick wipes. And then we got our extreme. Looks like the only things that are extreme are the tire related things. I'm not sure why, but anyway. So one, two, three, four. So actually six products. It does say 10 items on here. So I can't really say, you know, false advertising, but you count, well, I don't know. Let's, Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I get shorted an item? Oh, don't tell me they're counting the bucket and the lid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean that's 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 a little ridiculous. I uh, I almost would rather have them counted this piece of cardboard that they put in there instead of the lid. I mean, if you're selling a bucket, isn't the lid kind of part of the deal? I know, I know, you can buy five gallon buckets without lids, but 
that seems a little chinchy to say 10 items and, and to be like, oh yeah, no, the, the lid, you know, because that's, that's what you're going to focus on. Um, anyway, like I say, I was not expecting too, too much, uh, but at $15, I think you're, I think you're getting a pretty good deal here. We'll, uh, with some of this stuff, like I say, we'll probably use this on the Jeep. Um, and we may end up doing a little bit of a comparison of the chemical guys stuff I've got. I feel like that might be apples and oranges. I don't think these are marketed the same and are meant for the same customer. Um, I wouldn't even probably be using the chemical guys if it wasn't for my Uncle Cliff. He's, he details like a madman and uh, he swore by the stuff and of course it's awesome. But on sale, my seven piece kit was I think $40. So even at its high price, this was cheaper. This kit would be cheaper, cheaper than the on sale price of Chemical Guys. But you know, maybe you're getting what you paid for. But yeah, let's uh, let's try some of these. See what what it uh, what turns out with. We do that, or we might even we, you know what we might use them on Old Blue. We might use them on my daily because uh, I've kind of neglected that truck for a little while. Got the Jeep in and kind of riding it around. So anyway, enough of me yammering on. Let's uh, see what these things end up looking like. End up using. All right, y'all, I was curious, so I went and grabbed my kit. So, my Chemical Guys kit, seven essential products. You look on here, you got the Diablo Wheel Cleaner, which is awesome. The Mr. Pink, which is super awesome. I feel like it's not just like a outer wash. It seems like it digs in a little bit, but anyway. Um, and the Silk Shine Dressing. Okay, so we're up to three products, right? Okay, this is actually a really good mitt. That's four things. It's fine. Um, this uh, kind of dirt divider, you can tell I need to wash this one. Um, but anyway, it keeps the, lets the dirt actually settle below there. It's got holes in it. That's actually a useful thing. I'll count that. So now we got five. When I look down here, bucket and lid. So I guess I can't hate on, uh, can't hate on the armor all bucket and lid combo too much. Looks like that's a thing that you do. Uh, Armor all use it to get to 10, chemical guys use it to get to seven. So it looks like a thing you do. I will say this bucket, miles better. Um, lid, way better. In fact, I wouldn't like live on it, but I've, I've kind of sat on this before using it or whatever. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna spend much time sitting on the old armor all bucket. But again, the chemical guys might be apples and oranges because this is just a, it's just a better quality product in my opinion. Um, we're obviously going to use the armor. I'll see if it's, I'm sure it's passable, but yeah, $40 on sale is this kit. So, you know, you're all ready if you're on a budget and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think we're all on a budget these days. So yeah, I just, that was bugging me. So I wanted to check on that. So that's, I guess bucket and lid is a, is not a combo. That's two separate things. So shows what I know, but all right, let's, uh, let's get back to it. Check on these, uh, armor all washes. All right, y'all. Welcome to B Reds Daily. Uh, 2018 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Bighorn 4x4. It is embarrassingly dirty in here. Um, just horrid. I mean, seriously. But it happened to work out. Not that I did it on purpose, but um, man, with the glare, I hope y'all can see that. I don't think you can. There's a bunch of just junk on this dash. You might can see, let me get an angle, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see how clearly this has not been washed um, or cleaned on the inside in quite a while. I go out to my dad's place in it and stuff like that. And I just, I don't keep up with it like I should, but that's gonna be accidental win for this stuff because I think we're gonna try these wipes. And I realize it's not gonna be so much as, you know, do these work, cause I'm sure the wipe is gonna go through, but I think what we're gonna do is just give it a shot and see if they kinda can pick up this kind of stuff. I think that's what they're meant for, is really just kinda do like a quick and easy knockdown, you know, kinda grab a few things instead of cleaning, because a lot of times you don't wanna put your good cleaner and your microfiber cloth on this kind of stuff. So um, for guys like my Uncle Cliff, this is probably like a pre-clean, but for me, it's probably going to be all that this truck gets for a hot minute. So let's see what we can end up with here. All right, y'all, bear with me. You know that we're far from professional over here at B Rad Garage, so I'm doing my best here with my daughter's uh, ring light tripod with no ring light, with the extension arm, the thing I need, zip tied to the back of it because I don't need the ring light. So 
I think we're gonna go right here and I think we're gonna just do one wipe, um, one of the cleaning wipes and then see what we can kind of get done with that, see what it looks like, um, see where we go from there. Hey, Daddy, that'll be funny, is if we went to the... Little cameo by my daughter there. I uh, stopped filming and kept going here, so let's see here. Um, yeah, we got one. Man, I hope y'all can see this nonsense. Of course, I think I proved how dirty the truck was just from uh, showing you all the junk everywhere. So we may need to do a little uh, mini detail on this truck. So there's like a little bit of a white residue. I'm guessing that's the... Uh, the soap or whatever the cleaner is in there. Man, there's way too much junk up here to be doing this. I'd have to say, uh, y'all don't do this. Blow this kind of trash out or, you know, if you got a vacuum or something to kind of move with air, kind of get, so don't, don't rub this stuff into your dash material like I'm doing. This is, this is not, this is not what you do. We're just gonna say this is a product test. This is definitely not a, recommended way of wiping down your dash test. But it looks like everything's sticking to it. It's got a real gross brown gray kind of tint to it. I'm just worried that this isn't gonna come up on really the cameras being all that impressive. Um, I'm gonna move over to the other side and see. I don't think you're gonna get much life out of these. I've done half of this dash and this little uh, towel is basically dry as a bone. So. It says there's 30 towels in here, but I don't know how much space you're gonna be getting out of one of these. It does not seem like a lot. Now, is that because they've been sitting a while and they're on clearance, manager special, whatever? Maybe, but uh, yeah, at this point, it's just like a really flimsy kind of wannabe microfiber. Um, yeah, it does not really hold on to too much. But again, I might be asking a lot of it to try to grab all this stuff. So let's uh, let's take a look at it after and see. All right, so my very not scientific conclusion is that they work. I mean, it definitely looks better. Definitely got a little bit of shine. It's actually, it's kind of tacky, um, which could be the texture of the dash. It's had so much dust on it for so long, it might be why it felt slick. Um, but you'll notice, like, again, we're not picking up all those crumbs and this and that. But again, I think I'm over asking these wipes. I think they're made for a quick little detail wipe down. I will say it stayed together pretty well. Um, it does feel like it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of movement to it still. It doesn't feel like it's about to fall apart. And it did pick up a lot of junk. So I think if you were just going for a quick, hey, I got to run over to. Uh, all right, y'all. I'm gonna try to be as scientific as I can be, which is probably not very scientific, but let's give it a shot. So, I'm gonna try the wash and wax, the extreme wheel and tire cleaner, which I don't know if I have extremely dirty wheels, but we'll, uh, we'll see. The sponge and cloth, and yes, we'll be test running the bucket, because apparently the bucket and lid are part of this kit, so they should be tested as well. And you know what, we'll probably try extreme tire shine on a dirty tire, see if it does anything. So, breakdown is we're gonna go outside, don't know how the audio is gonna be, but uh, I'm gonna do my best. We're gonna do probably half of a wheel, like clean half the wheel with this, probably clean half of a panel with this um, on old blue out there, let it dry, and then see what it looks like. So, uh, let's head outside and see what we can't get into. All right, y'all, like I say, I don't think this is uh, extreme by any means. But, um, yeah, it's definitely, I don't know, I'll try to zoom in here, see if y'all can see kind of some of the uh, watermarks and a little bit of brake dust and just stuff like that. So, I'll zoom back out here. So, we're going to follow the instructions exactly, which is something I'm not great at, but I feel like the old double A is going to need everything we can do. So, it says to uh, one wheel at a time, wear eye protection, rubber gloves, wet a cool wheel well this is cool with hose old bottle from wheel and tire saturate it allow foam to penetrate wipe off with a soft cloth or sponge rinse wheel and tire 
So we're probably gonna do, let's say the left side here of the wheel. I mean, we'll have to hose it all down. But we'll, uh, we'll do the left side and see what happens here. All right, must have some residual soap from the last time I washed it. See, we can't knock some of that off. Oh, there's a mold in there. Lot in there. I will say it's not, uh, it's not knocking off of this brake dust and whatnot, so that's good. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I apologize if not. Alright, well I don't think this is Bill Nye level of uh, science, but we do have it where we no longer have the um, the foam and the old suds coming out. So now we hopefully will be able to get off. And we got on. Hopefully we'll be able to spray this left side. Well, first impressions, the bottle is uh, trash. It's getting all over me and leaking from the bottom. And this is brand new. I will say though, I'm already seeing some dirt running off there. Oh, got on the paint. Better be careful about that. All right, that's probably more than it needed. Sorry, I bumped y'all. Apologize. We just barely squeak off this I got over here. I know no matter what brand you get, none of this stuff is good for paint, so. Whoa. I almost went down there. Saved it. All right. I know this is just, you know, gripping video here. But I will say, I do see a lot of that funk coming off the wheel. Uh, 21, 22. So we're right at... 30 seconds. So that's to wipe first and then rinse it. So we'll do that. I will say it feels a little dry on here. I don't. I'm following directions here, but I don't know how I feel about what kind of feels like dry wiping it. I don't know. Well, we're doing something. That's mostly tire, but we're doing something. Flipping this around here. Try to get by the valve stem there and do kind of a half and half. That's probably on. Well, is that on me or did it not? I might not have sprayed in there with a little more elbow grease. It did come out. Still a little bit of residual, still wiping, but. And man, I hope y'all can see, but technically, like here's maybe a good example right there of, you can actually kind of see the split between the left side being shinier and the right side not. So I gotta say, I feel like as far as technically working, seems like it worked. Um, not gonna say I didn't think it wasn't gonna work, but, and I gave it the full 30 seconds on a cool wheel, but it really felt like I needed a little more elbow grease in the corners and in some of the other places. So uh, maybe the rag wasn't the best choice, maybe a sponge or something else would have been good. So, um, I mean, I'd say it works again for, you know, 
three to four dollars a bottle maybe so we'll need to check the prices at the end of the video and see if we got a good deal here also y'all found a use for the lid um you know since the lid's part of the kit here i guess we got to find a use for it right so i guess putting your rag and sponge on it to keep it off the dirty ground or carport or whatnot is something so i'm uh i know i'm reaching for straws here y'all but i'm just doing my best to find a use for this dang lid since it was part of the 10 piece pack all right y'all know we got some reflection and whatnot but i wanted to at least have a place where we could see some dirt i wanted to maybe wash on one side of that and on the other and again you know i'm pretty sure this stuff's gonna work just kind of want to make sure if it's is it worth even putting 15 bucks in or is it better to go buy yourself one bottle of chemical guys or some other brand that you like and go ahead with that it all depends on preference but we're gonna give them a shot today so it says one ounce per gallon on the back i do hate that i wish these manufacturers would put lines down here or something i get it it's a 16 ounce you take you know an ounce of that etc per gallon but i can't measure that kind of stuff man um and we're gonna use our old bucket here i had to look but bucket is three and a half so if you filled it up so you're probably gonna get three three gallons max so i'm just gonna do the old one one thousand two one thousand Two one thousand took some out of it, and let's try to put maybe about a gallon in there. Very strange smell. I don't know how to describe it. It's not bad, but it's not good either. The only thing I do have to say about the chemical guy stuff, it all smells amazing. So let's see what we got here. Use the included sponge for this one. It says to wet it down. And that knocked off some of the surface, but what I'm thinking is I'll maybe do down this side of the ram let it dry take a look at it or yeah I may do side by side Let's see what we got here well, let's do both sides and leave that middle piece right there kind of let it stand out Let's see what we got here definitely minimal effort and I don't know if y'all can see but there's still our smatterings right here nothing around kind of in a square um, man this is a uh, supposed to be a wash and wax where it waxes kind of after but we'll have to see how that works um, yeah I don't know I have to say for um, effort wise I say not a lot of effort I don't know if y'all can even tell that right down here it's still kind of spattered up, but old blue needs a wash anyway, so this was necessary, but uh, we'll let that wheel um, kind of dry off as well, see what it looks like. So we'll uh, we'll jump inside here in a second and see what the old school spray protect and how it looks on the dash. All right, y'all, welcome back to old blue. We're gonna go with the OG original protectant here. Shake well, apply liberally to clean cloth and spread evenly. We, uh, we definitely have a sock because I messed around and let all my microfiber cloths get dirty. Yeah, that's pretty par for the course with me. But anyway, uh, liberally to clean cloth or spray on the surface, white off pop excess. When I used to spray this on the surface, I remember it spatters everywhere and it gets like glass and everything and it's a real pain. By the way, that's outside water if you can see that. Um, so we're gonna see, this is wiped down with those cloths, remember, but That was seven sprays, I believe, and it definitely oversprayed. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can definitely tell the difference here and there. Well, let's see what we got here. We'll do another half and half like we did before. And this uh, this interior doesn't look bad, but let me tell y'all, it is definitely thirsty. I do not, uh, 
I do not maintain vehicles cleanliness like I should. I tend to use vehicles more like tools. I love them. I don't trash them or anything, but I definitely don't do the upkeep that I probably should on the uh, on the cleaning. And I don't know if y'all can tell the difference there or not. I've got about right here to here. Maybe if we move y'all back a little, change the angle. I've got cleaned here, regular with just the cloth and with the protectant. I don't know if y'all can see the difference there or not. Maybe down here it'll be more noticeable. I'm right here, over to right here. Interesting. Again, y'all, not scientific, and I apologize for the lack of angles and whatnot. I'm uh, doing my best, I promise. I don't... It does feel smooth. You know, I told you that last time this felt tacky. This does feel smooth, and it doesn't have... It doesn't have that weird smell... I seem to remember Armor All always kind of having a weird smell when I was in high school using it on my old Chevy. So um, I'll probably end up wiping the rest of this down and see what it looks like. Or I'll see if I can find a spot that's just really tragic and maybe we can see a better difference. I don't know, y'all. This may be like the old Facebook marketplace, you know, wash your truck and take a picture of it real quick because it looks nice and clean. Because y'all may not be able to tell, but this is not really... Um, knocked a lot of that off of there um, in here we're not really in these any of these crevices and cracks again I don't know if y'all can see but I don't know if it needed more time or a stronger hand but again I wasn't gonna go overboard because then is the chemical working or is it just your effort and your elbow grease so I don't know y'all I don't know all right y'all I'm hoping y'all can see up to here a um, little bit more about some of the some of the dirtiness of this front wheel it's on the opposite side of the truck on the driver's side so we got uh, the chemical guys Diablo wheel cleaner um, says to shake up wet and agitate with brush I didn't think that'd be a fair comparison to the armor all since it did just say cloth so I'm just gonna use this kind of a combo um, use this mitt that has a little bit of um abrasion to it with those little fingers but uh, didn't think it was fair to the armor all so let's wet this puppy down see what we can do here so we got uh we're gonna do the same thing here we'll probably do half the wheel maybe even half on this spot here see what we can end up with here so you can probably already tell it's definitely a thicker, more of a gel almost than that foam. Um, it does require a little bit more precision to put on there, but it does say to let it sit. Just says to rinse and or to agitate with brush. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Trying to just get this right side, y'all. See what we can do here. Let's see, all three spokes. I'm gonna round it. Get up on the tire, too. Trying to get in these corners. And then let's see what we end up with. So definitely, obviously shiny here, but it's still wet. But same kind of deal in these corners. It seems like it really is gonna need that brush no matter what cleaner you're using. But I gotta say, just on a quick inspection, it looks better in the corners than, uh, than the armor all. So maybe a little bit of apples to oranges, but wanted to put that to the test just to show y'all. I uh, did some tire shine. I don't think there's a whole ton to say here other than you can tell I didn't spray it here and did spray it here. Um, I'm not a big guy on the tire shine stuff. I mostly drive trucks and my tires aren't just, they're not clean. I use my trucks and they don't, uh, they don't ever look that good, but I will say it does look like it worked. Um, but again, I don't think it really matters what you get in those. I feel like they're all just cover ups 
and they all pretty much do their job because they put a chemical on top of the rubber to make it look nice and shiny black. All right, y'all, now it's time for what you've been waiting for. The uh, random guy with a random YouTube channel pretends like he knows what he's doing and says, hey, this is worth more than the other. But what I am gonna do real quick at the end here for the breakdown on cost. So September, 2022, I had to get this stuff off Walmart. A lot of this did not come up on Amazon, but all total, if you bought every product separate, then you would pay $60.02 without tax. So 60 bucks for everything separate. Um, I did have to use a generic four gallon bucket and a generic microfiber cloth, two for two, and a generic sponge for $9. Now also let me say, I don't think a sponge is the best choice. Um, I feel like it moves around heavy dirt. It can scratch if you're worried about your paint or anything. And you're probably thinking, well, Brad, if I'm worried about my paint, I'm not buying this. Well, maybe not, because if you're on a budget, it doesn't matter what you'd like to have. Sometimes it just matters what you can't afford. So I will say at its full price, this was $35.41 on sale to $22.88 and I got it for $15 on like a manager special. So even if you call it 35 as a set, that's still a much better price than buying it all separate. So if you're getting started or want something to get going, um, this washing wax, for instance, was $16 by itself. I mean, insane to me that that was worth the cost of that, but a lot of stuff's insane to me the way it costs now. Um, now the chemical guys, you know, we did a little bit with the Diablo. I don't feel like it's a fair comparison at all between the Mr. Pink. And let me tell you guys, if you care anything about what stuff smells like, this Armor All stuff is rank. Like, I sprayed some of this tire shine. Ugh, awful smell. Washing Wax had a weird smell, but not bad. The original old school protectant did not have a smell. And not so much with the wheel and tire. But man, if it had a smell, it was awful. But anyway, I, I digress. So, this is where it gets kind of weird, right? Chemical guys us made in la or whatnot so this is on walmart right now walmart.com as saying it was 85 dollars down to 40. now that's what i paid when i bought this was 40. um i don't man i don't know if i could spend 90 bucks on three products you know i just i don't know but to break this down your wheel cleaner is ten dollars your wash is 17.50 and then the silk shine is nine so this bucket with lid that's clear is 20 bucks. So you're already up to, what is that, $56 on the three, the base, the bucket and lid. That's not counting any way to deliver the cleaning stuff. There's no microfiber cloth in here. It's just this, um, what do you call that? Just that mitt. So again, stuff's great, man. I'm not gonna knock on it, but at the same time, budget wise, it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I will say on this wheel cleaner, I've done multiple wheels. It might be hard to tell. I'm just gonna hold my finger right here. Um, this much is gone from this, and I've done at least two sets of wheels, at least my truck twice, maybe more. Now, this is no exaggeration. On this wheel and tire cleaner here, you see I made a mark. This thing is well under half empty, and I only did one and a half tires and wheels of my 20 inch rims and tires on my truck. So. This may be one of kind of the old adage, you buy cheap stuff, but you use it twice as fast. I felt like this took forever to cover the wheel. Um, this took five or six squirts to cover that half wheel. So um, I don't know, maybe you're burning through the stuff because it's cheaper, I don't know. Um, I do think if you're looking for something just to wash your car, your regular daily or something you want to get into, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting this. These little quick wipes are nice if you're just in the middle of your day or week and you're just tired of seeing the dust or whatnot i think uh i think it's worth it i think this at 90 if you really care about your car and you're really going to wash it and detailing your thing man get after it and if you can get this for 40 right now i think that's basically a steal um based on the three products because you're paying almost 60 just for the three products or a little over 50. so anyway y'all um i enjoyed this again i no qualifications here, not gonna lie to y'all, just a regular old boy trying to tell y'all what he thinks, but you can trust that forever and always when I do this channel, I am cheap to a fault. Like, it took my, my Uncle Cliff like a lot of convincing 
to get me to get this thing and it had to go on half price i just could not put 90 on it but uh anyway y'all man i really appreciate it um didn't did wash the truck didn't really uh film that do the whole i i don't have uh don't really have the equipment for that plus i don't think y'all wanted to see me and my chicken legs walking around out there washing the truck so anyway i know we're getting to kind of the end of washing season it's late september but uh still plenty hot here in texas and plenty of folks washing their vehicles so as always i appreciate y'all taking the ride with me um and whatever you're driving man you know if it's yours you know take care of it take pride in it do the do the best you can with it if it's this fine don't let anybody hate on you or tell you because you're using armor all instead of chemical guys it's not as good because that's just junk man you do the best you can with what you have that's all you can do man um appreciate y'all y'all uh y'all take it easy have fun out there and don't forget anything can be read